One day a week I'm back here actually brewing beer for this location. Granite City has a great process. Uh, we have a wart house in Des Moines, Iowa that actually makes all of our wort here. So it's glorified sugar water. Then they drive it to each location out of our 27 locations. Usually come to me at 36 degrees. I warm them up to either 54 degrees if it's a lager, 74 degrees if it's an ale. And then after they've been fermented, usually ales take me about three weeks to finish. A lager will take me about a month and a half. Once those are finished, then I'll run them into my next side of my cooler and voila, we have beer. First one I'll start with is our Northern Light. It's an American style lager. Um, lagers are always filtered, so they always have that clear look. Um, kind of clean, crisp finish to it. Uh, next one would be our German style lager, which is our Brothers Benedict Bach. Uh, gonna have some nice caramel tones to it. Duke of Wellington IPA. Um, next one would be our Wags American Wheat. It's an unfiltered ale, so you're gonna see a nice cloudiness to it. It's gonna have some nice citrus tones. And our last is our Opig Black Color Oatmeal Stout. Gonna have some nice coffee and chocolate tints to it. My name's Eric Gilau. I'm the culinary partner for the Granite City Food and Brewery in Creevecourt, Missouri. What makes Granite City unique is our handcrafted food and our handcrafted beer. Everything we make is from scratch and there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in what we make. A couple of our top sellers, our signature dishes would be our signature burgers, i.e. our blue peppercorn burger or our betta cheddar burger. Um, one of our most popular pastas would be our chicken and asparagus linguine and some of our flatbread pizzas, which I would suggest would be our pepper maple bacon pizza. We add new things to the menu about every six months, but every month we have uh, monthly chef specials that we run as well. I started cooking about 15 years ago. My parents used to run a restaurant and I started through the ranks with them just watching my mom grow up and cook and kind of gave me a, a, a one of a passion for it. So I learned through her and when we moved away and sold that restaurant, I started with Granite City and just found a real, real passion for it and I knew it was something I always wanted to do and I started off as a fry cook and just started cooking and learning more and more new things about what good, what's good with what and just the whole culinary culture of what food is all about and I just worked my way through the ranks and just cooked and cooked and cooked and just learned to love it more and more every day.